In conversations with J.D. Vance and ABC News host Martha Raddatz, we see a striking contrast in viewpoints on immigration, crime, and the broader state of American society. J.D. Vance, a staunch defender of Donald Trump's rhetoric, paints the issue as a far-reaching crisis driven by unchecked illegal immigration. On the other hand, Raddatz, along with Aurora, Colorado's Republican mayor, challenges Trump's claim that Venezuelan gangs are invading and conquering the city, calling such statements grossly overstated. But I want to we play some other comments about migrants, well, what, uh, migrants, before, including in Aurora, in Colorado, where Trump said the city had been invaded and conquered by Venezuelan gangs. The Republican mayor of the city said flatly the city and state have not been taken over or invaded or occupied by migrant gangs. So do you support Donald Trump making those claims that the Republican mayor says were grossly exaggerated and have hurt the city's identity and sense of safety. I understand what you're saying, that some people left behind, but he's making these statements that the mayor is flat out disputing. Well, Martha, you just said the mayor said they were exaggerated. Grossly um, that exaggerated. Means that there's got to be some that means there's got to be some element of truth here. And of course, President Trump was actually in Aurora, Colorado, talking to people on the ground. And what we're hearing, of course, Martha, is that people are terrified by what has happened with some of these Venezuelan gangs. Sen Senator I, Vance, I, I, I'm going to stop you because I know exactly what happened. Martha. I'm going to stop you. The incidents were limited to a handful of apartment complex, uh, apartment complexes. And the mayor said our dedicated police officers have acted on those concerns. A handful of problems. Only, Martha, do you hear yourself? Only a handful of apartment complexes in America were taken over by Venezuelan gangs, and Donald Trump is the problem and not Kamala Harris's open border. Americans are so fed up with what's going on, and they have every right to be. And I, I really find this exchange, Martha, sort of interesting because you seem to be more focused with nitpicking everything that Donald Trump has said rather than acknowledging that apartment complexes in the United States of America are being taken over by violent gangs. I worry so much much more about that problem than anything else here. We've got to get American communities in a safe space again. And unfortunately, when you let people in by the millions, most of whom are unvetted, most of whom you don't know who they really are, you're going to have problems like this. Kamala Harris, 94 executive orders that undid Donald Trump's successful border policies. We knew this stuff would happen. That's, they that's... bragged about opening the border, and now we have the consequences, and we're living with it. We can do so much better, but frankly, we're not going to do better, Martha, unless Donald Trump calls this stuff out. I'm glad that he did. Okay, let's, let's, just, let's just end that with they did not invade or take over the city, as Donald Trump said. Uh, I, I want to move on to- Just a few women. apartment complexes, no big deal. A few apartment complexes that the mayor did not uh, seem was invading the entire city. J.D. Vance's rhetoric serves as a sharp critique of the Biden administration's immigration policies. He points to violent Venezuelan gangs allegedly operating within the U.S., placing the blame on Kamala Harris and her purportedly weakened border security efforts. Vance seizes on the idea of only a handful of apartment complexes being occupied by criminal organizations, dismissing any attempt to downplay the presence of foreign gangs. For him, the mere fact that parts of U.S. cities are touched by these groups signals a national security crisis. His argument suggests that the focus shouldn't be on how limited the problem is, but on the broader failure of immigration enforcement. Martha Raddatz, representing a more skeptical media stance, disputes this narrative underscoring that the scope of the problem is localized and well within the capability of local law enforcement. She leans on comments from Republican leaders like Aurora's mayor to argue that what Trump describes as an invasion is far from the reality. Raddatz, echoing many Trump critics, emphasizes that exaggerations like this breed unnecessary fear and distort public perception. To her, Trump's hyperbole threatens to erode the truth, not only about Aurora, but about immigration more broadly. Vance, however, sees the media's downplaying of the situation as a failure to grasp the bigger picture. Even isolated instances of gang presence, in his view, prove that the current immigration policies are failing. He challenges Raddatz and others with questions like, Only a handful of apartment complexes? Really? suggesting that this line of thinking dangerously minimizes the problem. From his perspective, 
The real issue is the infiltration of violent criminal elements, which he ties directly to lax border policies under the Biden-Harris administration. This clash of perspectives reflects deeper divides and priorities. Vance and many on the right focus on national security, law enforcement, and the need to safeguard American communities, even if the problem of illegal immigration isn't widespread. They see illegal immigration as a gateway for criminal elements that destabilize neighborhoods, erode public safety, and challenge the country's economic stability. Vance directly links the rise in criminal activity to Kamala Harris's handling of immigration, framing it as a direct consequence of the Biden administration's rollback of Trump-era policies. His critique accuses the current leadership of being too soft on immigration, leaving the U.S. vulnerable to lawlessness at the borders and beyond.